This is week two of 60,000 Taka Karen Fuku. Um, if you don't have 60,000 coupons, which is 99% of the people here, then go on over to Coffin Ingots, the channel. It'll show you how to get ingots through little offers or sign up bonuses or saving money or whatever. And then you can you spend that little bit of money to um, get Platinum Monthly Cards, Monthly Cards, Shonen Medals, Nardus Froggy, so that you at least have a chance to hit 60,000 coupons or ingots on Fugurumo's deals, right? Even with those boosts, it takes a while. I, I only know two people um, that has that many coupons right now. So um, good luck. And if you're feeling the urge to spend, make another account and spend on there, right? All right, guys, let's get on to the stream. Hey guys, it's okay to be here, and I'm actually with the Coffin community. Everyone say hi if you want to. Um, there's actually quite a few people here. This is week two of Fuku, and actually I'm saying um, I'm using Forgive Brandon's account for this one. He's lending me this to spend uh, for the sixty thousand Fuku. He only has thirty thousand, like almost forty thousand, but not forty thousand yet. So we're only going to be able to spend thirty thousand. But he wants to spend so. Um, in terms of this Fuku, I've already kind of went over it last week um, on the event and w what everything is. 30,000 is pretty normal, actually, compared to other 30,000 Fukus, so it's okay to spend here. But every level above that is better than the previous one. Um, so 60,000 is going to be the best, 50,000 second, 40,000 second, 30,000, uh, I mean, fourth. And then after that, it's just, uh, I would probably recommend you wait until you spend at, at least 30000 right? Mm -hmm. But you could go for, for uh, 5000 if you wanted something, you know. Everything, in all the power items here are almost, almost everything is something I like, uh, something that you would like to. Um, it's not just value, it's it's the power item. Okay, I don't like the Magatamas, okay? Mm -hmm. Other than that, most of the other items are pretty good. I just really don't like the Magatamas. Um, and they give you two of them, too, that 50000 what was that? Uh, Kodo, you're going to have to speak louder. But yeah, I'm going to uh, move on here. There's a lot of ultimate treasure essences as well. Um, super value, good skills. Okay, uh, Infinite Tsukiyomi also has this Green Ninja War Ob Orochimaru, which is really interesting now. Um, summoning at Mi Minato with this barrier, and then round two is Ed Edo Tobirama and Hiruzen. Um, which is probably not good if you have somebody, if you're finding somebody who heals, who leeches off of you, um, that might not be the best thing. But yeah, they, these summon Hokages do summon barriers too, so, um, it's pretty nice, it's pretty useful, but he has his weaknesses, uh, but he's pretty good. Uh, it, uh, there's not much else to say, he just, he's just a barrier ninja, and then... Every other ability is just kind of okay. They're nothing too terrible. Uh, I mean, too too great, too terrible. He's just like a mid high tier um, for every other ability. Um, but you know, having a Minato barrier is kind of nice too. So oh. um, now, in terms of for the people who are just here, uh, don't have that much time. The best events are just going to be Kona's Great Tree and uh, Lucky Stars. And then Amusement Park 2, if you want that 50% coupon, but the 50% coupon can only be spent. If you're talking about ninjas, I mean, you could get Tobirama for the Minato Barrier. Or you can get 4-star Minato Tobirama. That's that's fun, but not meta. Um, Secret Scrolls is okay for 50% off. And Ninja Assist as well. They're, those are not the best items for 50% off, but 50% off is still 50% off. It's good, right? So those are the three I would recommend you go for. Um, and because this is a 60,000 Fuku. So if you're doing 30,000, you should, I mean, all the way on Lucky Star is fine too. The guy I'm spending on with, Brandon, um, he wants to do a point reward thing with 1,000. And that makes sense as well because there's a command flag here. And ultimate treasure essence. So that that's okay too. You can do um, that 1,000 points times 190. Hold on, 190, what's, what's the calculation here? Uh, 190 for 10, right? So if you want a thousand, then you need a thousand nine hundred nineteen thousand nineteen thousand coupons. Uh, for this and the other bits, the other eleven thousand, you go for lucky stars for the best value. Um, and if you want power, then you go here. But the yeah, that's just overall. Um, and I'll go over each individual thing. The ninjas on here are really nice though. Like everything, 
Um, you have a chance at Ten Tails Obito, Taka Karen's there, and because Taka Karen's also on Fuku deals, um, maybe you can get partial uh, on forty and fifty thousand, and then get most of the Taka Karen fragments from somewhere else. That's fine too. There's Tsunade in this, and so you know the ninjas um, are in here. Like in, they're in the events. If you want to prefer to take power in your, uh, if you want to get your ninja fragments from the events, but then get power items with the uh, power packs, that is okay. Um, in terms of value, I think it's probably better to get the ninja fra ninja fragments from here though, because they're costly. Um, yeah. Okay. That's the overview. So I'm going to go over each event. <sighs> Sorry, you, I guess the stream ain't working. You're, you're going to have to hear, and I'll pretend that you g you're not looking at anything and try to describe everything for the people who are just listening. All right. If an Tsukiyomi special rebate, I'm going to start with that because that is sort of new. Ginnadro, uh, okay, Tendo's always really nice. He's powerful. He can go against Ten Tails Obito breakthroughs, which is, which is something because Ten Tails Obito is technically the strongest ninja at the moment. Um, we just saw a fight between Ten Tails and Edo Madara in the last video. Um, Ten Tails actually probably has an upper hand. Uh, Edo Madara has an upper hand if he is, uh, he if he's faster. But you know, any any ninja has an upper hand if they're faster ish. Not not every single ninja. Um, but Tendil, Edo Madara can fight against Tendil Zobito if he's faster. Tendil Zobito seems to be killing Edo Madara-ish. Um, not by a lot, but by a little bit, if you consider their one versus one abilities. Of course, it also matters what support you're running. So, um, But Tendo beats that. So, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Let's see. If we go Tendo against Edo Madara, I think there would be a back and forth similar to... Obito versus Madara, except I think maybe Tendo would be similar, similar-ish to um, Edo Madara. It's it's hard to say, right? You, you probably need to run Chikasoto to really beat um, any other team. But Tendo is up there; he's strong. Now uh, uh, that Granger Orochimaru <clears throat> for for a lot of the whales, I think thirty thousand, sixty thousand um, might be doable for you guys over a couple months, at probably. Um, so. Some of you guys actually might get Grand Ninja Orochimaru. Uh, Orochimaru. Um, his number one thing is summoning Edo Minato, Edo Tobirama, Edo Hirzen. In, the round, one, in round one, he's going to summon Edo Minato and get a barrier. Um, round two, uh, Edo Hashirama and Edo Tobirama. I don't know if he summons Edo Tobirama's barrier, but if that happens, that's also good because you get extra damage. Um, and extra damage is always nice, and you're also changing the barrier in case... The other side has Edo Madara changing the barrier again or something. Um, in terms of his other abilities, 20 combo and unavoidable and feeble is nice, but you have to suppress immunity first. Uh, his standard attack causes poison, low float. Irremovable, like, yeah, irremovable poison is kind of nice as extra damage. Um, probably not a position one, so. And his mystery, let's see, deal damage to all units in a lineup, so the entire team. Immobilize knockdown to one guy, pretty typical. Uh, taijutsu, okay, after causing damage for one round, units causing taijutsu t will suffer irremovable strong poison, which neglects immunity. Okay, more poison, and then when the selected unit is an ally, heals 20% to all Edo Tensei Hokages and lineups and kind of, eh, okay, so it's, it's like a Taisho Konin on and off thing. It's, uh, it's okay, I mean, you, you cause a mobilize to one guy, knock down, hit everybody. He doesn't really have the damage, though, he's more like a support, so... Yeah, we'll just have him as support. He does have the revive every two rounds ability, which is okay. Um, but if if the person you're fighting against has leech and he gets like six pass Naruto is a pretty good example. He gains ninjutsu attack damage and um, just he's just gonna destroy Orochimaru every single round that he revives, and that's gonna be bad because you're leeching, you're giving six pass Naruto leech. But yeah, in the beginning, maybe the Minato barrier will help. So. On and off, right? He's just like another. He's just another ninja, you know. In all honesty, um, another good ninja for sure, but just another ninja. Um, considering our today's position one metas, of course, you probably, you could probably do some crazy combinations if you spend ingots with all these other interesting ninjas: Indra, Tendo, Obito, so on. Right? Okay. Um, that's my opinion on uh Gain Ninja Orochimaru. You don't have to get him. He's not like super meta, but he can be useful for um, if you're if you're space time fighter. He could be really useful, right? Okay. Um, Shinobi feast ten thousand coupons is always nice. 
Typical Rage Obito. <laughs> okay, Rage Obito, I need to take a look at the abilities, but let me, let me see everything else. She's three, mod, Tendo's Mana, Jinchuriki. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Shinobi Feast so far in terms of the Asura, right? Asura's Ten Tails Madara. So it's not Shisui, you know. Okay, so Rage Obito, we gotta look at that. Uh, what is his abilities now? That's new. Um, Rage Obito is interesting. Let me see. It's a little bit of laggy. Lag. Uh, ten Rage Obito. He looks pretty good, though. Um... Rage Obito, if anyone forgets, is in the anime, it's when he sees Rin dies. The love is... Well, I, yeah, the love of his life, basically. Um, and he just loses consciousness and goes crazy. Okay, so this new ninja here is... Ooh, okay, let, let's see. Uh, mystery. Let me, let me go all the way up. Consume 10% to gain high chance of evading one attack and cannot be defeated by the first five attacks in the round. Okay. So if your mystery is going to be like that, then I'm assuming his main abilities are going to be everything else. Because that's just a survival thing. Um, consumes 5%. Okay, his standard attack consumes 5% to cause unavoidable damage to one random unit. Cause knockdown and Kamui tag? What's Kamui tag? Pretty soon they're going to have every single type of tag and we're going to be all confused. Like, I don't know, hair tag or something. Throw an Orochimaru or something like that. Um, units suffering from Kamui Tag will have evasion rate reduced by 35%, okay, and their defense and resistance reduced by 15%, okay, like, so it's like a tag, but, like, with New Year Tobirama's tag and tag put together, lasts until the end of the round, cannot be dispelled, and ne neglects immunity, uh, maybe goes into the next round, oh, okay, lasts until the next round, yeah, um, it's random, though, one guy, random, costs his so i mean you're basically expecting him to die after one round or so so i mean it might be okay but it's it's random so it's not the best eh, okay let's go over the chase triggered with at least 20 combo causes damage to up to seven units in the field absorb okay so it's kind of like green drobito just draining chakra with tony combo um chase another chase low chase is low float consumes five percent hp again he just wants to die <laughs> To cause, okay, to low float, cause low float, knockdown, and immobilize. Um, ignore some defense and resistance. Has a 15% chance to cause Kamui tag. So this whole thing is Kamui tag, which is okay. I mean, that's probably the more useful part. Like, somebody causes low float. You aim low float at somebody. Uh, yeah, sure. The, the bottom passive. Okay, Obito uses two standard attacks around. Okay, that makes much more sense. Um, random, but two attacks. Uh, whenever Obito's HP reaches 50%, he enters rage mode, recovers 50% HP. Okay, that makes so much more sense. He gets hit a lot, but if you hit him under 50%, he recovers 50% HP. Um, that's survivability. Okay, but then you can still be killed again. But um, Rage mode. So what's rage mode? Aside from uh, recovering 50%, his skill is active when Obito is controlled. Under rage mode, Obito damage is increased and his skill set is enhanced. Under rage mode, he gets extra standard attacks when defeating this unit with a standard attack. Executes enhanced divin div divinity Kamui transfer at the beginning. What the heck is that? Um, and they don't even explain this. Enhanced divinity. All right. Someone Kono proxy time. Let's see if they can explain it for us. Because I think you just ran out of text for the descriptions. We don't know what enhanced is. And we don't know what enhanced divinity divinity kamui transfer is either um so obito let's take a look i mean this it's a twist but what is this uh wow okay that's a lot of text in the bottom so the one we're looking at is the bottom um they call it enraged mode whatever under enraged mode increased damage of every attack and when defeating um standard attacks get an extra one so bloodthirsty also triggers teleport and enraged it just still doesn't explain what this thing is. Uh, if somebody actually gets him, let us know what the heck this ability is. I mean, some people are from China, so maybe you know. Um, triggers and rage mode to send it. All we know is they're just... Oh, okay, no. They, they explain it in the other abilities. Great. Okay, under rage mode, suppress... Okay, so chase. 20 combo chase also suppresses debuff immunity um, in under rage mode. 
Okay, the, the bottom, low knockdown, immobilized chase. Under, re, under, under enraged mode, there's no life sacrifice, so no damage dealt. Um, Kamui Mark has a 100% chance of hitting. Okay, and you can do this twice per round. Interesting. Huh. Huh, okay. Um, his standard attack in rage mode, there's no damage dealt and high chance of knockdown in Kamui Mark. Okay. But there's no in rage mode. And, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that's worth it or not, but I guess it could be useful-ish. I don't know. Having those... I think... You should just get rid of the damage he deals to himself. Uh, probably. Not sure. Because the damage deal to himself activates his enrage mode, which then heals him. But then when he's healed, he's no longer in enrage. No, he is in enrage mode, but with more health. Uh, this is confusing, but I think I get what they're trying to go for. Um, as long as you don't kill him one hit, he'll heal back and then activate all those abilities without the penalties. Okay, sure. Um, I look forward to seeing very unique situations with that. I mean, that is kind of fun. I guess it's on and off. Okay, I've what did where did that come from? By the way, I kind of forgot. Oh, that's right, from Shinobi Feast. Interesting, interesting. Uh, do your arena stuff, and the arena is pretty good. And uh, Indra is kind of nice. Ten does Obito. Eh, it's all right if you want to spend there. Anniversary, you know, just do it. Um, you can recharge and throw out ingots for people in your group, including, okay, maybe, I don't think yourself, but, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Fugromo's deals already went over, uh, but wow, 10 tails would be tough. Someone just asked me uh, what the best free-to-pay meta is at the moment. Probably Edo Madara for you guys. Um, best of class Naruto as well, because Edo Madara also has his weaknesses. Um, as long as people know how to use the formation, the star formation, or the X formation, um, just put one... The Edo Mono is slightly better than Edo uh, Six Pass Nardo, but if your critical and injury rate is lower, then it doesn't really matter that much. Okay. All right. So Mega Carnival handpick is bizarre. Um, once again, I already went over this. Sumzionko can be useful in the future. We've got to have a good female unit besides Kashina, though. Kashina is out of fashion-ish now. Um, you can, you guys can try to get a 50% coupon on here or the 200. Um, in terms, Secret Scrolls are good. Advanced Protection Miles are good. Cave Keys are fair. Uh, Milky Blue is not that much, but I think in general the extra rewards here are nice. So if you want it, it's it's fair. Value is fair. Time limit till ha, time limited is for uh, spenders. I still have to figure out wedding dress Hinata. Apparently, some people do use her. That endurance thing is interesting. Um, extra standard attacks. She has a knockdown. Uh, and interruption and increase in chakra cost uh, chase unmissable but you have to make something that well you have to be able to hit so you, this goes through chase dodge I guess that's I guess that's the idea uh, yeah we'll have to see we'll have to try I'm gonna try her and see but I don't know if she's you, you know you don't have to get her she's not super meta but she could probably be useful in certain teams or something Ninjasis is also good secret skill plates are also good Fireworks. The new thing here is Moon Fairy Shizune. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> they're just making stuff up, man. Okay. Uh, Shizune. I mean, they do have a limited choice of characters. I don't mind. It's fine. Uh, Shizune is one of those characters that don't have anything terribly great, so this is okay. Um, Mystery. Heals 9 units. Cancels all debuffs. On a field. That's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, standard attack. Hits the lowest guy. Lowest unit. HP guy causes low flow ignition, which is nothing. Ten combo causes critical damage to three people. Yeah, that's fair. Um, every ninja causing low or high receives five percent attack and ninjutsu. And this is active even after Shizune is defeated. Okay, that actually makes her a good uh, usable ninja. Who causes low and light fl high float? Who has a lot of standard attacks? Summer Kakashi doesn't do that. Um, Six West Naruto doesn't do that. Summer guy causes repulse, so no. Uh, Maybe in the future we'll have somebody who causes low and high flight, high float a lot. Maybe somebody who with a lot of chases or something. Uh, maybe Chika Soto or something, or like Tendo. I'm not sure. Like if you have a chase with Asura increasing the number of chases you get, um, that could work. Or was it Indra? Asura, Asura. Yeah. So if you have a lot of chases that causes low and high float, or is unmissable or something like Chika Soto's abilities. I guess that could be interesting. Increasing 
even more attacking ninjutsu. Basically, you're just trying to get her killed after a little bit. Um, and then the last ability is healing three, pe three people with the lowest HP. Cancels a debuff two times around before an action. Kind of like Sakura. Yeah, Cloak Sakura in a way. Which is okay. Just uh, she, uh, She's a fair... I mean, she heals. No, she, she attacks, so she heals. Huh. I don't know. She's okay. Um, I think she's good for a free-to-play ninja, though. She's definitely worth trying out and using. Um, if you throw in... No, 6 plus 9 I won't work with her too well, because he doesn't call slow, or... I guess Edo Mater could work with her, because his chase causes low, and he has a double chase if you have his breakthroughs, so that could work. Yeah, uh, on and off. Um, but yeah, she's. we'll have to take a look more at people who cause low float for that free ninja. Interesting. Okay, in terms of Chikasoto's out here, by the way, uh, male Chikasoto, the new male Chikasoto, um, might just get him to try. Green Ninja Armada works with him, but Green Ninja Armada is also not that great of a position one ninja anymore, so it's on and off. Edo Mato's on this. Um, got my carries in fireworks. Ikoski, Edo Minato. Uh... Let's see, Renegon Sasuke. All right, all of them are pretty good. Um, power item, training potions. Everything here is pretty good. Except if you want the power item. Uh, if you want a best power item value, you probably go for Lucky Stars. All right, mission mobilization is fair. Um, they have Sage Kabuto. That's probably the only thing. Run okay, we're running Zabuza, maybe. Gaining Dramata-ish. Support ninjas, not the best value, though. Um, I'm just going to skip over that. I, I think the boxes give something... Uh, let's see what they give. They used to give Hirzen, like normal, normal Hokages. Um, oh, this one gives Tendo, but not, not the, not the whale Tendo. Sanin, Fragments, eh, whatever, it's whatever. They have some good power items, some Magatamas, it's okay. You probably don't want to do that for value. Lucky Stars is awesome. Taka Karen here, Tentails, uh, no, Tentails Obito here. Um, good chances of those ninjas. Of course, it's always great with training potions and refines. Um, pretty good value. Um, six Fast Nardos here, Gendro, Obito, Sonate. I mean, these are all ninjas that are in Fukuroma steel, so you could switch them around. Uh, you could switch them around for Six Fast Nardo. He's actually pretty cheap, so that's fine. I love Gendro, Obito. Um, okay, that Kurotochi is also interesting. Rinna Festival. Um, causing no cheating to two random people. Uh, and... He increases initiative up to 5%, which is actually quite a bit. If you're fighting someone similar to you, she can be useful, and that could be good in space-time. So uh, that's one of the things to mention. Uh, powerful item optional pack 3. Uh, that's basically the best value in terms of... like. There's a lot of choices, and probably the best value-ish, aside from Gona's Great Tree. Right? Um if you're spending more, if you're spending like 40, 50, 60,000, I would advise you go Kono's Great Tree. If you're going for training potions, because that's the only one they have ish um, in power items. I think there's one other that wasn't as good. But if you're going for 30,000, I think Lucky Star is fine. Um, you can also be like uh, Forgiveness here and do both at the same time. So I'll show you that in a second. But refining and time limited, just do it. Um, yeah, it's just, they're fair. It's pretty. Cultivation, don't bother. Milkaboo Trials, make sure to do it. They're giving out Shisui for free again. Huh. Well, I mean, okay. It's good for free-to-play, I guess, to start off with this guy. Um, he used to be really good ninjas, but... Well. Wheel of Offering, I don't... Okay, this is actually worth it. Kimono Shisui. We need him to be buffed up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to forums and complain about it. Um, because I got him four stars, and then Six Pass Naruto came out and just destroyed everything, so... I'm really sad that I'm not able to use Shisui. Oh, wasn't really able to use uh, make a video out of it either. But Edo Mato is is good. So the first two draws is worth it. The, after that, it's not too much, right? Um, yeah, level six Magatama, not so much. Level five Rainbow Magatamas are okay though. Advanced skill trials. All right, verification pill charms. Yeah, the first draw. I'll probably only do the first draw to be honest. Um, yeah. All right. So Kono's Gear Tree is the last thing to mention. No, actually, three versus three is going to be there. Um, they've changed up the tree. These things have changed. First of all, the you have Kurenai, Kimono Kurenai, which is interesting. Hokage's successor is interesting, but not still not too worth it. 
Near Tomurama, I don't use. I don't see a. Uh, unless he survives in three versus three, I don't see a use for him. You guys can stack him as position one if you're weak. If you're like the support guy, if you have less power than people you're fighting with, maybe you have two hundred thousand power, but then the other people have four hundred thousand power. But you can use this guy to just get a lot of extra standard attacks and just uh, just lower their attack and defense and uh, resistance or something. Uh, attack and ninjutsu. I mean, Kasame is over there. He was in. Yeah, the two power items are in trading potions and secret scrolls in Kono's Great Tree. Um, and the point rewards, it's always worth it to get to 1,000. All right, Command flags are nice. Uh, they're rare, they're hard to get, and you have to build them up over time. Okay, pull the, uh, yeah, collect the world tree stuff. I don't need to mention that. So, the tree itself, um, level 1, 2, 3, I don't really need to mention. The, the fair value, epic refines, 7 Milkaboos, uh, purification of pills, not so much. App. They have Takasu Getsu, which is pretty nice. You know, even get to get him four stars is pretty nice as well. Um, good in three versus three scenarios. Um, Rainbow Magatama's training potions. Uh, the only thing I don't like is experimental vials. I'll prefer productions, but that level four is not that high. Um, Grenadier Obito here at level five. I love this, and I also love uh, Christmas Kashina because she. Well, in let's see, in uh, what was it? Nine Tails is one. All right, Nine Tails is really useful. Edo Minato is really good uh, Christmas Kashino here, but I don't think that's the only team with her. You can use her with Edo Mater as well. Extra attack and critical rates. Just being able to increase your critical rate. There's not a lot of ninjas that are able to do that. All right. Kashino herself is able to do that for herself, but she's not She's not the best position one ninja. This is a support Kashina, and increasing your critical rate could be the difference between life and death in a lot of scenarios. If you use like 6 pass Naruto, even then, like increasing critical rates is going to be really useful because sometimes critical rates, like the injury, the other side's of injury is so high that the, the most of their damage comes from injury. Well, Kashina is there to kind of help stop that. Same thing with you. If your power is a uh, critical hit and injury, then you probably want Kashina on your side. She's useful for particular ninjas, uh, setups that you can probably figure out in the future with all these random ninjas coming in. It's going to be new ninjas all the time, so um, Christmas Kashina could be really good. Okay, um, now Tendo, Tendo would be good with her too. Critical hits. Because the only weakness on Tendo is probably the critical hits. Okay, uh, really good power items here, for sure. And then you have Chikasoto here, which is really good if you have Tendo, the, the higher power, uh, the new Tendo. But um, on his own, it's kind of hard. He is... He doesn't have hide, which is okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I, maybe you can prepare for him in the future, but at the moment, unless you have Tendo, not so good. I mean, not the best. All right. I haven't figured out a way to use him other than Tendo, so it's it's whatever. Uh, Minato's good. All right, and then this Hokage successor, while nice, not the best, but it, you know it's fine. Level seven tree, you had ten tails up Edo Edo Hashiram is always there in Reserve Cell Sinati. There's no level eight tree. I wonder if they're ever gonna make a level eight tree, but Ness protection vials are nice, so level seven is the best. Very good. Um there's no ninja here that's not worth it. So yeah, okay, okay maybe not the purification breakthrough kill, but the new changes are good. Overall pretty good. Okay, so uh okay, last thing is three three versus three. Uh their ninja is my boy, but she's just for fun, you know. Um, yeah, she's just for fun. Um, okay. Well, now we're going to get into the spending part. So, forget and forgiveness have told me, uh, forgiveness told me to go for 18,000 on Kona's Great Tree or 19, it's actually 19,000 because, um, okay, maybe sl slightly less than 19,000 because you have the freebies, five freebies here. You have 50 or so freebies here. No. Let's see. Hold on. Forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness. Uh, talk, been talking too much. Forgiveness. You said that you wanted to spend. Did you want to spend um, complete all the way to 1,000 on video? Or did you want to wait and to get that last uh, freebies on here? Um, I think the freebies are 50-ish. If you, yeah, if you get the freebies, it's 50-ish. Um, are you going to do the freebies or not? Uh, if you're not, then I'm just going to go all the way to 1,000-ish. Um, if you are, I might just wait a little bit. 
Or if you don't care, just do it. No, just go for it. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm suffocating a little bit, but I'm fine. I'm almost done. So, um, command flags, ultimate treasure essences. We're just going to go for the full 19,000. For the 11,000, we're going to go for the lucky stars here. You might actually spend a little bit more on lucky stars towards the end um, because the cheapest thing is Kimono Shisui, and you don't want Kimono Shisui right now. Uh, oh, I see Six Pass Naruto. So you have Six Pass Naruto, but you have you already have Six Pass Naruto, so you don't need his fragments. And so if you have extra leftover stars, you might want to spend a little bit more just to get the powerful item option pack, pack three. I think if you have like 30 stars extra after you get all your freebies, um, you can get that powerful item. item will, you can spend a little bit more for a powerful item option on pack three. I hate how long the names are, but yeah. Okay, maybe also Green Ninja Obito. Green Ninja Obito is really good. Um, throw him with Edo Nagato, and he, it's actually kind of fun. Oh, you know what? Chika Soto can be used with Green Ninja Obito. So, Green Ninja Obito will scale a little bit with Chika Soto, and then he can make your position one disappear every single round. And maybe if you're faster, you can use Wind Main and uh, reset your mystery on Green Ninja Obito and use him again and again and again. And it'll be fun. Yeah, that's a, that's a team to think about. Okay. All right, all right. So um, that's enough for the talking part. We're going to go spending and probably just... Uh, Lucky Stars has a limit, but I, th I think because you're only spending 30,000, you're not going to... You're going to hit that limit and you're going to have 1,000 left over. 1,000 stars left over, so... I mean, 1,000 coupons left over. So we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to actually finish the spending and collect everything. So I won't be able to do that on stream, but it is what it is. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to pause this and go right back into it.
Cause I'll be the one to set you free Cause you